In this video, I'm going to talk about section analysis. So section analysis basically gives you kind of like an x-ray vision of uh, your model you're working on. So it's like, I'll show you. So at, at its basic, a section analysis happens by going up here to inspect, you know, to hit the drop down there, go down here to section analysis, and it's asking you for a cut plane. So you can use any of these planes here by default. You can use any of these flat surfaces, uh, you know, or make a construction plane like I did in a previous, in, the, in another video. Uh, so I'm just going to use one of these surfaces right here. And now what you can do is you can use the slider here as well as these angle sliders to adjust where how you want to cut part. So look at this here. You could you can just cut the part open like this. And this is not permanent. Your model won't be left like this always. You can control the view from over here. Uh, but let's continue setting this up. Now you can work this back and forth. Uh, you can adjust the angle like this or or even like this. So yeah, there's a, there's a few things you can do here. I think I'm just going to make it so that it's roughly in the middle here, I guess. There we go. Uh, so here's a couple other things here too. If you wanted to flip it so that this side here is closed, you can do that. You know, just like that. I'm gonna flip it back like this. You can adjust the section color either. You have this here from component, um, or you can make everything one uniform color, and you can pick the color you want. Oh, maybe you want to make it like a, a purple section. There you go. You know that's that's an option too. I like to keep it by component because Fusion 360 will separate the you know the separate components out in the section analysis that way you can tell what you're looking at. So there's three separate components. I have this fist here, I have this uh, this wrist part here, and I have this forearm part. So you can see that easily from the different colors. And there's the option to show hatch. So, I mean, in, in drafting, generally when you have sections, when you're looking at a section view like this, you see a hatch mark you see hatching that way you can tell easily that's a section view and not like a you know a regular a regular part view so I'm gonna just leave the hatch on I'll click OK and here you go now all the section views are going to be in the analysis category over here in the browser so you can turn it on and off with the eyeball well, now your parts back to normal now it isn't you know just like that and if you want to, you can edit it. So maybe you want to change the section so that it's like this, perhaps, you yeah. know, something like that. That way you can see from a different direction. You can, of course, edit it. Um, and you can have multiple section views if you wanted. So let's let's do something like a a mid plane on. Uh, this part here. So like I was saying, I'll capture position of my assembly. I'll do that. And then just do another section analysis. Use the select the mid plane as the cut plane. And there you go. I like using section analysis uh, just to check clearances on parts. Uh, you know, just that it's it's one of the things I like to do, just make sure that things are Know, to see whether things are rubbing the way they should or if holes are are going in the way they should too uh, i I find this it's like i said it's it's really useful when your parts have an internal component to them where you're checking clearances you want to make sure everything is fitting together in the model like you want it to uh, what happens if we turn both these on now notice that you can't have both section views on at the same time you can only pick one or the other or just have them both turned off. So, there you go. That's how you can do a section view of your part. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.